in achieving the purpose of God. I, I would love to pray that as we find in the scripture, people like Aquilius and Priscilla, that both collaborated together to carry out the gospel of God. And how Zachariah and Elizabeth collaborated together to carry out the mandate of God. Even Joseph and Mary, how they collaborated together to raise up Jesus Christ, uh, that is our Lord. I pray that every man, every woman, in that they are married, they will be able to collaborate together. You're welcome to the moment of refreshing where the Word of God is taught by anointed men of God. Please sit back and be a part of today's teaching. The Lord bless you. I want to plead with us. When you look at the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, and very, very instructive also, you will see the profit, how profitable it is for us to work together as husband and wife in the house. Ecclesiastes and chapter 4, listen to what the Word of God says. It said two are better than one. Because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them fall down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and asks no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? What a question. And I want to encourage the married in the house, I mean, in the household of God, that please let us work together. Let us partner together. In raising our children, let us partner together, let us collaborate together in even achieving the purpose of God in our career, in our business, in everything that we do. So that when the two of us work together, we'll be able to achieve the purpose that which God has created us for. Don't forget, the scripture says, Paul was excited, Paul was happy because of the partnership that existed between him at the brethren at Philippi. And we look at partnership with God and we just look at partnership with our husband and wife in the house. And as I want to go further, another area of collaboration is the collaboration within the household of God. That is the collaboration between a brother and another brother, a sister and another sister. Very, very important. If we are going to achieve the purpose of God, if the gospel of Christ is going to be preached the way God wants it to be preached, I mean, the way God wanted it to be preached, then it means we must work together as one. Your idea, my idea. Let's put those ideas together in order to carry the work of God. You will agree with me when you look at the book of Acts and chapter 2, the major reason why God was able to descend upon them powerfully on that day was because they were working together in collaboration. The scripture says that they were together in one accord and then the Spirit of God came upon them. That is very, very important. You know, the book of, of, of Psalm 133 was also a perfect scripture that taught us how, how, how wonderful it is for brothers and sisters to dwell together. The question I want, to, I want to ask us is, just as Paul and the brethren at Philippi collaborated together, is that the same way we are doing today in the household of God? Is there collaboration between pastor and members? Is there collaboration between members and members? You know, in these days that even we cannot be able to do business together, that's one fatal area where we are missing it. You see, the scripture says that people who belong to the kingdom of darkness, they are wiser in their kingdom. This issue of collaboration is very, very important to them. You will see uh, 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 people that belong to the same occultic society, they find themselves in the same place of work, they fight for each other. All that they will be doing is to ensure that they place themselves in strategic location. The question I want to ask ourselves, are we doing that in the household of God? Paul was excited. He was happy. Why? There was a great partnership between him and the brethren at Philippi. And I'm still asking this question. If we talk about within the church, can we talk about churches to churches? Is it possible? For us to collaborate together, churches at one location collaborate together to carry out the gospel of Christ? 
Is it possible for one denomination to collaborate with another denomination? Even when now we are saying we don't want some people to preach on our altar. I, I, I don't know what has really happened to us at the church of God. We need to look at this area and see how we will work at it in order to achieve the purpose of God. I will use this medium to please plead with my fathers in the Lord to please help us look at this so that we can work together as one indivisible body and then achieve the purpose of God. Let's remember what happened in the book of Genesis chapter 11. Even though their motive was wrong, but the scripture made it known to us uh, that God needed to come down and when God saw what they were doing, God himself said, if he allowed these people to continue to do what they are doing, ah, everything will become possible for them. You've been moving mountains long before we started, long before we knew they could move. You've been parting Jordans, calling us to walk them. Impossible is just what you do. If your promises are yes and amen, we say yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And though our faith may fail, your word will prevail, we say yes.